Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In my opinion, the most important multi-tenant feature of Oracle 12.2 was the ability to perform a hot clone of a pluggable database. In Oracle 12.1, the source pluggable database had to be open in read-only mode before you could perform a clone operation. This made the cloning feature unusable for many production databases. In Oracle 12.2, the source pluggable database could remain in read-write mode during the clone operation. We connect to the root container of the CDB1 instance and display the dbCreateFileDesk parameter value. We can see the setting of U02 Oradata. This setting means we are using Oracle Managed Files, so Oracle will handle all file name and path conversions for us during PDB creation. Here we display the current pluggable databases associated with this root container. We can see the seed database and a single user-defined pluggable database called PDB1. Notice it's open in read-write mode. We'll start with an example of a hot clone of a local pluggable database. We create a new pluggable database called PDB1 copy as a clone of PDB1. Notice we didn't switch PDB1 to read-only mode before doing this. We open the new pluggable database to complete the operation and we can see it in the list. Let's remove it by closing and dropping it. Notice it's no longer in the list. Now let's see an example of a hot clone of a remote pluggable database. We connect to the root container of the CDB3 instance and display the current pluggable databases. Notice the PDB5 pluggable database is in read-write mode. We create a link user in the root container and grant it the create session and create pluggable database privileges. We connect back to the root container of the CDB1 instance and create a database link to the CDB3 instance. We create a new pluggable database called pdb5copy as a clone of the remote pdb5 pluggable database. As with the local clone, we didn't turn pdb5 into read-only mode before doing this. We open the new pluggable database to complete the operation and we can see it in the list. Let's remove it by closing it and dropping it. Notice it's no longer in the list. So there you have it. Cloning is as simple as ever, but now it doesn't require downtime. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.